that sunstroke pretty bad. Oh, is he sleeping now? He's dead now. Scooby-Doo, can you tell me what's going on in this... Let me turn this on here. I, I think I'm getting it too loud. Skeletor, the master of the universe. Does that give you... So, witchcraft. Here it is, Dungeons and Dragons. Here, this is the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, the Monster Manual, and it's full of monstrous figures like Bugs Bunny, uh, Donald Duck, Daffy Duck, I mean, Elmer Fudd, and all of the Looney Tunes. Wow! Nice office you got here. Thanks, but uh, it's not mine. Mine's being moved. Uh, I was just promoted to a PR executive. Uh, by the way, I have to apologize for yesterday. Things are just a little crazy around here lately. Big business, right? Right, right. Uh, so, Mr. Carey, uh, what kind of information are you looking for? Mine? Uh, I'm going to talk to you off the record, Nick. Oh, sure, Stan. It's uh, serious problems with it. Got a white elephant on her hands now. That why he was killed? Good question, Nick. A very good question, but you'll have to ask Carter Brown on that one. He's a ruthless man, and he hates to be crossed. And you just crossed me, you bastard. Wait, what? You've been tricked. You're being sold lies. My name is Buster Soares. 
Don't buy the lie. Hi, I'm David Cram. It's a problem that many of us have never really faced before. Bees stop working, or worse, cause them to look like they're working, but do weird and unreliable things. They never used to bother us much. We're talking about the D. Here's what happens. Discharge. The kind you get on a dry day when you touch a knob, only much, much smaller. And it's getting worse. Now, you might be saying to yourself, hey, wait a minute. I've been handling boards for years without protection, and I sure haven't experienced the kind of failures you're talking about. But it leaks. So what can we do? Well, the basic rules are simple. If the device is not being worked on, it should be in a shielded bag. If the device is not in a shielded bag, don't touch it. Let's try it with a new one. Sparks. Work, and I am pleased to be joined by Michael McDonald. Sir, welcome. <laughs> Who writes that stuff? Man? <laughs> it's all out there, let me tell you. <laughs> uh. I want to start with obviously your soulful voice, a perfect match for you and the music of Motown. So what was the catalyst for this particular project? Well, um, actually it was uh, the, the brainstorm of Ian and Tony from uh, uh, Universal in the UK, you know, the record exec guys. Uh, and. Uh, for me, it was a, a, a great opportunity. You know, they—they, they, uh, they, I think, uh, if I'm correct in saying this, uh, Universal owns uh, the Motown catalog in Europe, or they—they. They, uh, With Michael McDonald, for Words and Music, I'm Lich. Thank you for joining us. See you again next time.